Jack Roosevelt Robinson was born on January 31st, 1919 in Cairo, Georgia. He grew up in a poor neighborhood and was the youngest of five children. In high school, Jackie followed in his brother's footsteps and became an athlete in several sports such as football, basketball, track, and baseball. After high school, Jack continued his athletic education at the University of California, Los Angeles. He still played the four sports that he started in high school, but had to leave college short of graduation because of financial difficulties. When he left college, he went to Hawaii to play for the semi-pro football team, the Honolulu Bears. But in the middle of his season, he was drafted into World War II as a second lieutenant and served for two years. After Jackie was honorably discharged from the Army, he joined the professional Negro baseball team, the Kansas City Monarchs, in 1945. The lifestyle of a Negro League player was much poorer than that of a Major League player, which caused a lot of hatred from the Negro players towards the white players. Jackie Robinson slowly built up his reputation as a baseball player in the two Negro League seasons that he had played. Blanche Rickey, the Brooklyn Dodgers vice president, noticed Jack's abilities and wanted him to become the first African-American baseball player to integrate the MLB. Rickey knew that he would endure a lot of hardships and made Jackie promise to never fight back when confronted with racism. On April 15, 1947, Jack Roosevelt Robinson made history when he stepped onto the Dodgers field as the first black Major League Baseball player. He was highly discriminated on and off the field. For example, during games, the opposing team would slide into second base and spike Jackie in the ankles with their cleats. Also, Jackie's family would receive threats demanding Jackie to leave the MLB, but he still never quit. Jack was a very perseverant man. He endured a lot of racism from the press, players, teams, and fans, but still never lost control of himself. Although it was a great challenge to keep his cool, Jackie managed to become the Rookie of the Year in 1947. He also hit 12 home runs in his first year and led the Dodgers to win the National League pennant. But the most ultimate feat that Robinson accomplished was to take the Dodgers all the way to the World Series and beat the New York Yankees. Jackie Robinson retired at age 38, shortly after he was traded to the New York Giants in 1957. By now, he was a big activist for social change and continued his work in that field while also becoming a businessman in the Chock Full of Nuts Coffee Company. He was married to his wife, Rachel Ism, and had three children. In 1962, Jackie became the first African American to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. On October 24, 1972, Jackie Robinson died from heart problems and diabetes. Later that year, the Dodgers retired his uniform number 42. The Jackie Robinson Foundation was founded shortly after Jackie died. The foundation is dedicated to the life and accomplishments of Jackie Robinson. Today, the program helps young athletes get scholarships and provide them with mentors.